good for us to be back this morning for Yom Kippur, this Day of Atonement. So we continue our service on page 293. This is the day of God. On this day we are called to the sanctuary by a summons, as exalting and enduring as the everlasting hills. Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. This is the day of awe. What are we as we stand in your presence, O God? a leaf in the storm, a fleeting moment in the flow of time, a whisper lost among stars. This is the day of decision. Today we invoke you as the molder of our destiny. Help us to mend the evil of our ways, to right the heart's old wrongs. On this Sabbath of the soul, inscribe us for blessing in the book of life. Together, this is the day of our atonement. We would return to you as penitent children long to return to a loving parent. We confess our sins on this day, knowing that the gates of repentance are always open. Receive us with compassion and bless us with your forgiving love. We are tenants in the house of life. Our days on earth are but a span. Its passing, leaves, its passing leaves bitter memories of hours misspent. But your purpose gives meaning to our fleeting days. Your teaching guides us, and your love sustains us. <laughs> Deliver us from bondage to the past. Release us from the stranglehold of evil habits. Make us free to start afresh. Liberate us from the fear of death and from the scornful laughter that mocks our labors. We, dust and ashes, are endowed with divinity. Compounded of clay, we live in dimensions clay cannot enter, regions where the air vibrates with your presence. Judge us less harshly than we can judge ourselves. Rise now for the call to worship. Page 305. Lord of darkness and dawn, the God who opens the gates of mercy, who gives light to all who await forgiveness, be with us on this atonement day. God of times and seasons. Lord God of hope and joy, be with us this day. Be with us as we look for strength to be free freedom to struggle against those who worship power, and power to resist all who would oppress us. 
Continue now on page 306 as we join together in the watchword of our faith. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevon, Shem Kevon Malchuto, As you continue seated, we continue on 306. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Eloheka v'chol levavka v'chol nafshecha v'chol meodecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi metzavecha ha'yom al levavecha Veshinantam levanecha, vedibarta habam, veshiftecha bevetecha, vlechtecha vaderech, uveshokvecha uvekumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, vehayule tota fohot benenecha, uchetavetam al mezuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Leman tis keru vasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kiroshim lelohechem ani Adonai lelohechem asher hotzeti etchem meyeretz mitzrayim liot lachem lelohim ani Adonai lelohechem me. In this world waiting to be redeemed, our hearts cry out, cannot our dearest hopes at last come true? Many are our defeats, yet how many are deliverances? After servitude to Pharaoh, we choose service to God. After exile in Babylon, we rebuild God's shrine. Yesterday's wounds so nearly fatal begin to heal, and Israel, living still, plants new seeds of redemption. Let the time come when all the peoples will be joined in bonds that cannot break. The nations will yet be at peace. The earth will yield good fruit. Mountains and waters will reap in joy, and all will sing with one. Abraham, 
Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leah, Elohei Rachel, Ha'el, Ha'gadol, Ha'gibor, Ha'nora, El Eyon, Omel Chasadim, Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezoche Chaste Avot Vimahot, Remember us unto life, O Sovereign, who delights in life, and inscribe us in the Book of Life for your sake, O God of life. Again, Baruch Atah Adonai, Magen Avraham, Bezrat Sarah. Amen. Continue responsively on page 310. Your might, O God, is everlasting. You are the source of life and blessing. Help us to choose life for ourselves and our children. You are the support of the falling. Help us to lift up the fallen. You are the author of freedom. Help us to set free the captive. You are our hope in death as in life. Help us to keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Your might, O God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. Please be seated. On Rosh Hashanah, we reflect. On Yom Kippur, we consider. Who shall live for the sake of others? Who, dying, shall leave a heritage of life? Whose hunger shall be for the good? Whose thirst shall for just, who shall thirst for justice and right? Who shall be plagued by fear of the world? Who shall strangle for lack of friends? Who shall go forth into the quest for truth? 
who shall be serene in every storm, who shall be troubled by the passing breeze. Repentance, prayer, and charity, these return us to our God. Let us proclaim the sacred power of this day. It is awesome and full of dread. For on this day your dominion is exalted, your throne established in steadfast love. There in truth you reign. In truth you are judge and arbiter, counsel and witness. You write and you seal, you record and recount. You remember deeds long forgotten. You open the book of our days and what is written there proclaims itself for it bears the signature of every human being. The great shofar is sounded, the still small voice is heard. The angels gripped by fear and trembling declare in awe, this is the day of judgment, for even the hosts of heaven are judged, as all who dwell on earth stand arrayed before you. As the shepherd seeks out the flock and makes the sheep pass under the staff, so do you muster and number and consider every soul, setting the bounds of every creature's life and decreeing its destiny. Oh, 
ומי עשיר מי תשובה ותפילה וצדקה מעבירים מעבירים את רוע הגזרה ותשובה ותפילה וצדקה Repentance, prayer, and charity, temper, temper judgment, severe decree. This is your glory. You are slow to anger, ready to forgive. It is not the death of sinners you seek, but that they should turn from their ways and live until the last day you wait for them, welcoming them as soon as they turn to you. Our origin is dust, and dust is our end. Each of us is a shattered urn, grass that must wither, a flower that will fade, a shadow moving on, a cloud passing by, a particle of dust floating on the wind, a dream soon forgotten. But you are the sovereign, the everlasting God. We sanctify your name on earth, even as all things to the ends of time and space proclaim your holiness. And in the words of the prophet, we sing. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzavot, Meloch Ol Haaretz Kivodo. Source of our strength, sovereign God, how majestic your presence in all the earth. Baruch Kivod Adonai, you alone are our God and our creator. You are our ruler and our helper. And in your mercy, you reveal yourself in the sight of all the living. <laughs> Eternal One shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Hallelujah. We remain standing as we turn to page 324 for our confession of sin. For transgressions against God, the day of atonement atones. But for transgressions of one human being against another, the day of atonement does not atone until they have made peace with one another. I hereby forgive all who have hurt me, all who have wronged me, whether deliberately or inadvertently, whether by word or by deed. May no one be punished on my account, as I forgive and pardon those who have wronged me. May those who I have wronged forgive and pardon me, whether I acted deliberately or inadvertently, whether by word or by deed. Our God, God of our fathers and fathers, Grant that our prayers may reach you. Do not be deaf to our pleas, for we are not so arrogant and stiff-necked as to say before you, our God and God of all ages, we are perfect and have not sinned. Rather do we confess, we have gone astray, we have sinned, we have transgressed. Eloheinu, Velohei avoteinu. Oh, 
continue with this silent confession through page 329. the 
meditations of my heart be acceptable to you. Join together on page 330, reading the Alchet. The sin we have committed against you by malicious gossip, the sin we have committed against you by sexual immorality, and the sin we have committed against you by gluttony, the sin we have committed against you by narrow-mindedness, the sin we have committed against you by fraud and falsehood, and the sin we have committed against you by hating without cause the sin we have committed against you by our arrogance, the sin we have committed against you by our insolence, and the sin we have committed against you by our irreverence, the sin we have committed against you by our hypocrisy, the sin we have committed against you by passing judgment on others, and the sin we have committed against you by exploiting the weak, the sin we have committed against you by giving and taking bribes, the sin we have committed against you by giving way to our hostile impulses, and the sin we have committed against you by running to do evil. For all these sins, O God of mercy, forgive us, pardon us, grant us atonement. to page 338 as we turn now to the Torah service. I would like to invite those participants in the Torah service to come forward now. Sheldon Stern, Jim Rich, Robin Stern, and Arnie Weintraub. And Moses said, Oh, let me behold your glory. Then God said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim my name before you. Behold, there is a place by me where you shall stand upon the rock. Romamu Adonai Eloheinu, Beishtachavu Lahar Kodesho, Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu. Let us exalt our eternal God and worship at God's holy mountain, for our eternal God is holy. Romembu Adonai Eloheinu Vehishtahavu Lehar Kutsho Romembu Adonai Eloheinu Vehishtahavu Lehar Kutsho Ki, Ki, Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Romembu Ki, Ki the Lord, 
The Lord God is merciful and gracious, endlessly patient, loving, and true, showing mercy to thousands, forgiving iniquity, transgression, and sin, and granting pardon. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Vechanun, El Rachum Vechanun, Erech Apayim, Verav Chesed, Not a We continue together on 339 with Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu, we have sinned before you. Avinu Malkenu, bring us back to you in full repentance. Avinu Malkenu, forgive and pardon all our misdeeds. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and on our children. Avinu Malkenu, make an end to sickness, war, and famine. Avinu Malkenu, inscribe us for blessing in the Book of Life. Avinu Malkenu, let the new year be a good year for us. Avinu Malkenu, help us to exalt your name in the world. Avinu Malkenu, in your mercy, accept our prayer. Avinu Malkenu, be gracious and answer us, for we have little merit. Treat us generously and with kindness, and be our help. Avinu Malkeinu, Choneinu Vaneinu. Avinu Malkeinu, Choneinu Vaneinu, Ki ein banu masim. Aseimanu, Tzedaka vachesed. Aseimanu, Tzedaka vachesed. Vehoshienu, Aseimanu, Tedaka Vachesed, Aseimanu, Tedaka Vachesed, Vehoshienu. Avinu Malkeinu, Avinu Malkeinu. Oh, 
חונן ובנינו, אבינו מלכנו חונן ובנינו, והושיענו. ברוך שנתן תורה לעמו ישראל בקדושתו. Blessed are you who in your holiness has given this Torah to our people Israel. Today, as we prepare to read its text, we join in the watchword of our faith. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Venor Hashemo. Lecha Adonai, Adula, Vehatiferet, Vehanetzah Vehah, Kol Vashamayim, Vaharetz, Lecha Adonai, Hamalacha, Vehamitnase, Echol Lerosh. Ramemu Adonai Eloheinu, Vehishtachavu lehar kodsho, Kadosh hu. Ramemu Adonai Eloheinu, Vehishtachavu lehar kodsho, Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu, Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu, Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu, Please be seated. Some of you on this side may not have noticed that uh, we just had the opportunity to bring EMS in to help somebody who is now going to be treated. And I think it is important to recognize that not only do we here at Temple Israel have the opportunity to be together in prayer, but we have an incredible community of people who in this room took care of him, two people. We have a community of people that we are so lucky to have, caregivers who are here to make sure that we have health and happiness and a community of prayer today. And so I'm just going to ask us all to send our prayers of love to those two gentlemen who are receiving care now. We know that the words of the Torah will enter into our souls and bring, we pray, healing to the entire world. And we say together, amen. We are reading this morning from Parshat Nitzavim, and you may follow along in your machsor on page 342-343. For the honor of the Aliyah, for blessing the Torah, we call Jim Rich, and for the honor of reading the Torah, we call Robin Stern and Arnie Weintraub. <laughs> Oh. 
Amen. Atem nitzavim hayom kuchem lifnei Adonai Elohechem Rashechem shivtechem ziknechem b'shorechem kol ish Yisrael tapchem neshechem begercha. Asher bekerev mechanecha, mechotev etzecha, ad showeit me mecha, leorecha, bivrit, Adonai Elohecha, uvealato, Asher Adonai Elohecha, koreit imcha, hayom. Leman hakimotcha hayom lo leam vehu yihi elcha lelohim kasher diber lach vechasher nishba leavotcha leavraham leitzchach uliakov. Velo idchem, levadechem, anochi, korait et habrit hazot, ve et hala hazot, ki et asher yeshno po, imanu omed hayom, livne adonai eloheinu. Ve'et asher einenu po imanu hayom ki hamitva hazo asher anochi metzavcha hayom lo nifleti mimcha velo rechoka hi lo vashamayim hi. Lemor mi ya alelanu hashamayma vikahe halanu viashmienu ota vena asena velo me ever layam hi lemor mi ya avor lanu el ever hayam vikahe halanu Viashmienu ota bena asena ki karo elecha hadabar meod pefiha uvil vavecha la asoto. Re'eh, natati lefanecha hayom et ha'chayim v'et ha'tov, v'et ha'movet v'et ha'ra. Asher anochi mitzavacha hayom le'ahava et Adonai Elohecha. L'alechet bidrachav, v'lishmor mitzvotav, v'hukotav, u'mishpatav. V'chayita v'ravita, u'varechecha Adonai Elohecha. V'eretz asher atah v'ashama l'rishta. V'im yifnei elavavacha. Velo tishma venidachta, vihishtacha vita lelohim, acherim vaavadatam higadati lahem hayom, ki avod tovedun lo ta'arichun yamim al ha'adama. Asher ata over et hayarden, vavoshama l'rishta, 
האידותי בהם היום את השמיים ואת הארץ, החיים והמוות. נתתי לפניך הברכה והקללה, ובחרת בחיים, למען תחיה אתה וזרעך, ואהבה את אדוני אלוהיך, לשמוע בקולו, ולדו כבו, כי הוא חייך באורך ימיך, והשבת על האדמה, אשר נשבע אדוני לאבותיך. לאברהם, ליצחק, ליעקב, לתת להם. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך עולם, אשר נשא לנו תורה סמס, וחיי עולם נוטע בסופנו. ברוך אתה אדוני נושאין התורה. Amen. וזאת התורה אשר שם משה לפני בני ישראל על פי אדוני ביד משה. לילה 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 Please be seated. We call now the participants in the Haftarah portion, um, Carolyn Irie, Carolyn Marks, and Bob Lask. We are on page 346. For the honor of blessing the Haftarah, we call Carolyn Irie. Carolyn Marks and Bob Lask will be reading from the portion. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher bachar bin v'im tovim Ratzah v'divrehem hanemarim be'emet Baruch atah Adonai Abocher b'torah uv'moshe avdo Uv'yisrael amo uv'in v'ye ha'emet God says, cry with a full throat. Do not hold back. Let your voice resound like a shofar. Declare to my people their transgressions, and to the house of Jacob their sin. Yes, they seek me daily, as though eager to learn my ways as if they were people that does what is right and has not forsaken the way of its God. They ask of me the right way, as though delighting in the nearness of God. When we fast, you say, why do you pay no heed? Why, when afflicted ourselves, do you take no notice? Because of your fast day, you pursue your own affairs while you oppress all your workers. Because your fasting leads only to strife and discord, while you, strike, while you strike with cruel fists, such a way of fasting on this day will not help you to be heard on the high. Is this the fast I have chosen, a day of self-affliction, bowing your head like a reed and covering yourself with a sackcloth and ashes? Is this what you call a fast day, a day acceptable to the eternal? It is not the fast I have chosen to unlock the shackles of injustice to loosen the ropes of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to tear every yoke apart. Surely it is to share your bread with the hungry and to bring the homeless poor into your house when you seek the naked to cover them with drawing yourself from your own kin. Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall quickly blossom. Your righteousness, one will walk before you. The glory of the eternal one will be your rear guard. 
Then when you call, the Eternal One will answer. When you cry, God will say, here I am. If you remove lawlessness from your midst, the pointing finger, the malicious word, if you give yourself to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall shine in the darkness and your night become bright as noon. The Eternal One will guide you always, filling your throat in parched lands, renewing your body strength. You shall be like the garden overflowing with water, like a spring that never fails. Some of you shall rebuild the ancient ruins, rebuilding the foundations of ages past. You shall be called repairer of the breach, restorer of streets to dwell in. You shall keep from trampling the Sabbath, from pursuing your own affairs on my holy day. If you call the Sabbath a delight, the Eternal One's holy day honored. If you honor it, abstaining from journeys, from carrying on your own affairs or speaking of them, then you shall delight in the Eternal One. I will make you ride upon the heights of the earth, and I will feed you with the portion of Jacob your father. The Eternal One has spoken. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, tzur kol haolamim, tzadik bechol hadorot, ha'el ha'neeman ha'omer ve'oseh, ha'mdaber umkayem, shekol devarav, emet v'atzedek. Al HaTorah, Al HaAvodah, Al Hanviim, Al Yom HaShabbat Hazeh, Al Yom HaKippurim Hazeh. Shena Tatalanu Adonai Eloheinu, Likdusha Valim Nucha, Limchila Valislicha Ulcha Para, Lechavod Ultif Aret. Al HaKol Adonai Eloheinu Anachnu Modim Lach. Umvarchim otach, yit barach shimcha, befi kochai tamid leolam vaed, udvarcha emet vekayam laad, barucha ta adonai, melech mochel vesoleach la avonotenu, vela avonot amo beit Israel, uma avir ashmotenu bechol shana vashana. Melech al kol ha'aretz, mekadesh ha'shabbat v'yisrael, v'yom ha'kippurim. We turn now to the special prayers for this day of Yom Kippur, page 354, as we call forward Jay Hack and Karen Berry. Eternal God, we pray to you for the whole house of Israel, scattered over the earth, yet bound together by a common history and united by a common heritage of faith and hope. Be with our brothers and sisters whose lives are made hard because they are Jews. Give them strength to endure and lead them soon from bondage to freedom, from darkness to light. Bless this holy congregation and all who serve it. Together with all other holy congregations, in all lands near and far. Uphold us, shield us, and bestow upon us abundant life and health and peace and happiness in all our dwelling places. Bring to fulfillment the blessing of Moses, the eternal your God, make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you as God has promised you. Amen. O oh God, send your healing to the sick, 
your comfort to all who are in pain and or anxiety, your tender love to the souring hearts among us. Be their refuge through this, their time of trial as they pass from weakness to strength, from suffering to consolation, from lonely fear to the courage of faith. Amen. We pray for all who hold positions of leadership and responsibility in our national life. Let your blessing rest upon them and make them responsive to your will so that our nation may be to the world an example of justice and compassion. Deepen our love for our country and our desire to serve it. Strengthen our power of self-sacrifice for our nation's welfare. Teach us to uphold its good name by our own right conduct. Cause us to see clearly that the well-being of our nation is in the hands of all its citizens. Imbue us with a zeal for the cause of liberty in our own land and all lands. And help us always to keep our homes safe from affliction, strife, war. Amen. We pray for the land of Israel and its people. May its borders know peace, its inhabitants tranquility, and may the bonds of faith and fate which unite the Jews of all lands, be a source of strength to Israel and to us all. God of all lands and ages, answer our constant prayer with the Zion once more aglow with light for us and for all the world. And let us say, Amen. Amen. One hundred percent good, not perfect. Funny slogan for a cookie company. Sorry about the cookie reference. Forgot about Yom Kippur. But truly, it fits. As the story goes, two travelers met a man on a beach wearing an apron and flip-flops, handing out cookies. They were the most delicious cookies they had ever tasted. When they asked to take them home, the man not only gave them the cookies happily, he told the travelers to share his cookies with the world. The man taught them how to bake his delicious cookies, and they in turn have fulfilled his wish of spreading love and joy through cookies. Sounds perfect to me. So why 100% good, not perfect? While the cookies themselves are 100% good, as are their efforts to protect the environment by using fair trade, organic, natural ingredients, they realize they are leaving a footprint with every batch baked. So while they praise their cookie making and even wrote a book about how baking cookies can lead to spiritual enlightenment, they acknowledge that no venture in this world is perfect. They take pride in their cookies, the way they produce them, and the love that fills the hearts and bellies of all of their customers. But they have chosen to focus on being 100% good, not perfect. We as Jews are very familiar with the concept of good. The word tov, good, is the 33rd word in the Torah. It appears over and over in our creation story. Today on Shabbat, we celebrate the renewal of God's creation and we too marvel at its beauty. We too say it was tov, it was good. And today on Yom Kippur, we imagine ourselves as if we are standing once again at Sinai the moment when God tells us that if we follow God's laws and statutes and commandments, we will be blessed with all things tov, good. Creation was tov. The promises of revelation are tov, 100% good, but not perfect. I wanted to be so creative and rewrite Genesis and rewrite the moment at Sinai so that we could reimagine ourselves as created perfect rather than just good, but I couldn't. There is no word in Hebrew for perfect. The word mushlam, taken from the same root as shalom, is the closest I could get to perfect. It means wholeness. Surely had God wanted men and women to be perfect, God would have created the word in the same way God created the world. God would have told the people trembling at Sinai, don't worry that the covenant they were entering into would assure a life of perfection. But God did not do either of those things. So there must be something to learn from our being created imperfectly, 
to allow for an imperfect covenant. We are created in God's image, created in divine imperfection. We are bound to God in an imperfect covenant. I have read these two stories so many times that I've memorized a lot of them. How could I have so easily passed over that precious, forgiving word, tov? By reading so fast, I miss God's voice telling me over and over, I did not create you to be perfect, and I do not demand that you are perfect. There is only one of me, and there is only one of you. And while I might be able to be everywhere at once, performing miracles without end, try as you might, you can only be in one place, at one time, doing one thing of a time, and I am trying to tell you that that is tov, that is good. An analogy was once made between our need for perfection and air travel. A wise man once said that if you've never missed a plane, you're spending much too much time in airports. Perhaps it was said best when someone said, perfection is the enemy of good. So on this Yom Kippur, we thank you, God, for the gift of imperfection. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam sha'asani tova. Blessed are you, O God, sovereign of the universe, who has made me good. And we all say, Amen. But how, you might ask, are we made in God's image? How can we be anything but perfect? Danny Siegel wrote a beautiful piece called Praised Be the God of Imperfection. In it, he explains how we see God's flaws everywhere and how they diversify our world. It reads, Praised be the God of imperfection, your flaws are everywhere. In the elm's unbalanced foliage and the asymmetric faces of your creatures, you form the ripping floods that tear forests and bend tornadoes in a twisted dance. The lion is blotched with age and mud, and the Shabbat silverware is stained as a reminder. Praised be your Torah of scratches and scars. Praised be your discolorations, for they are puzzles and poems of your sacred character. Within God's good creation, God gave us hints and reminders everywhere we look that good is beautiful. Good is crooked and bent, wrinkly and spotted. Good is a B minus and a mulligan on the course. God is an apology when we have done wrong and the understanding that we have caused pain. The apology being perhaps more beloved to God than the offense never having happened at all. There are tremendous gifts in doing things wrong, making mistakes, and falling short, if we only open our eyes to see them that way. A young mother was needing some relaxation, though her young daughter was more interested in reading than resting. Read me a story, Mom, she begged. Give Mommy a few minutes to unwind, and then I'll be happy to read to you, she answered. To keep her daughter occupied, she gave her the back cover to a magazine that had a picture of the world on it. She thought her daughter might draw on it or just look at it or point out places that she recognized. Instead, her daughter tore it to pieces. But rather than get upset, the mother simply told her daughter to reassemble the picture. Much to her astonishment, she did just that. Being so young, the mother asked her daughter how she could have possibly put the picture back together so well. The daughter proudly answered, you see, mommy, there was a little girl on the other side of the world. When I put the little girl back together, the whole world came together. It's not, isn't that what we're trying to do every single day? Put our pieces back together, ignore the jagged parts and fringed edges and see the bigger picture? And when we all do that, each of us in our own lives, are we not also putting the pieces of the world back together? The little girl didn't see the tearing as a problem. It didn't stop her from putting the pieces back in a new way to create a new world. And beyond that, she even found joy in the process. She saw the imperfection and she got excited about it and got to work on making something incredible. In her book, The Gifts of Imperfection, Brene Brown teaches us how to put our pieces back together and create something amazing through
through wholehearted living, the kind of living that cultivates courage, compassion, and connection. She writes, no matter what gets done and how much is left undone, we must tell ourselves that we are enough. What does that mean? It's just what God has already assured us when creating the world, tov, good, that we are tov, we are good. When we stop beating ourselves up and start doing the work of putting our pieces back together, the world around us will come together, never perfectly, but beautifully nonetheless. That doesn't mean we don't try to be our best selves or learn from our shortcomings, hardly. What it means is that we are starting from a place of acceptance of who we are, what our strengths are, and knowing that we are working towards self-improvement every day, not towards perfection. One is a lifelong pursuit, the other a defeating prospect. So on this Yom Kippur for the first time, I have decided I am not going to apologize. I am not going to say I'm sorry for all the things that make me, me. For still having high expectations of people, regardless of whether or not it makes me vulnerable to disappointment, I am not sorry. For wanting to be better tomorrow than I was today, albeit divinely imperfect, I am not sorry. For praying that God grants me the, the strength to accept me for who I am, for all my disparate pieces, I am not sorry. In short, I will not apologize for what makes me imperfect and thus not less than, but divine. Finding my own tov, my own greatest good, is fulfilling my end of the covenant that I share with God. There is a story about how the angels begged God not to create human beings. They were jealous because they knew that human beings would be created in the divine image, and they were not. So they decided to hide the divine image from human beings. One said it should be buried in the sea. Another suggested the crag of a jagged mountain. The most clever of the angels said, let's, divide, let's hide the divine image within human beings. It's the last place they'll ever look. I'm afraid the angels were right. Sometimes we spend all our time berating ourselves and not celebrating ourselves, and we forget that within each of us is the spark of God. Yom Kippur is a reminder that we need to outsmart the angels and look no further than inside ourselves for that spark of divinity, the fingerprint of our creator. And just as every day of creation affected every subsequent day, the improvements that we make on ourselves will inevitably have a positive effect on those around us. An 11th century monk once wrote, when I was a young man, I wanted to change the world. I found it was too difficult to change the world and I wanted to change my nation. When I found I couldn't change my nation, I began to focus on my town. I couldn't change my town and as an older man, I tried to change my family. Now, as an old man, I realize that the only thing I can change is myself. And suddenly I realize that if long ago I had changed myself, I could have made an impact on my family. My family could have made an impact on our town. The impact could have changed the nation and I could have changed the world. I pray that this Yom Kippur makes you look at every Yom Kippur, Kippur in the future a little differently that you start seeing it not as a day to marinate in the ways you failed or perceived yourself as less than perfect, but rather to celebrate all the ways that you are good, that you understand that every day the world is being created anew and that gives us an opportunity to start over. I wish to end with a new version of the poem I read earlier. This is for me and for you, for the people we are today and the people we pray we allow ourselves to become if we just embrace good and let go of perfect. Praise be our divine imperfection and our lives that are full of flaws that in truth are our gifts, in our tempers that are sometimes too quick but lead to deeper understanding that the need for peace overcomes the need to be right. For the wrinkles in our faces that remind us of the laughter that made them so pronounced, there is no need to airbrush them for that would be erasing the visual memory of our joy. 
Praise be the walls of our homes that are punctuated not by fine art, but by the handprints and paper mache flowers of the little people whose feet dance on our hearts. God bless the lesson of time. When we are late, we learn to be punctual. When we waste it, we learn how precious it is. For the blessing of burning toast. It teaches us appreciation for when things go right and why not to panic when things go wrong. After all, it's just toast. God of imperfection, you have made us and know what we are. We are unique and we are gifted. We are bold and we are bashful. We are impetuous and cautious. We are loving and we are cruel. We are your greatest reflection and your mirror opposite. Blessed are you, O God, for creating us 100% good, but not perfect. May we all strive for goodness in the year to come. Kenyihi Ratzon, may this be God's will. Amen. your name shines in glory in and above all the earth out of the mouths of mere babes very sucklings your strength will flow thus we grow confounding our enemies right from our moment of Consider your heavens, the universe you have ordained. Why would creation of man be of any concern to you? Only through love can this be understood and through mercy explained. We rise now to return the Torah to the ark. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt God's name together. Ye hallelujah, shame Adonai, kinis kav shemo levado. Hodo ale reds bishamayim, vayarem, vayarem, keren leamor. Tehila, Tehila, Bechol Chassidah, Bivne Israel, Am Kerovo, Hallelujah, 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 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Ay 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 ay, mama ay 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 ay, mama mama. Ay da da da, ay ay da 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 da. Ay 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 ay, mama mama ay da da da, mama mama. Ay da da da, ay da 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 da. Ay 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 ay, da da da, mama mama. Ay 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 da da da, mama mama. Ay 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 ay, mama mama. Ay da da da. page 357. This is the conclusion of our morning service, but it is in fact a continuation into the afternoon Mincha Moment service and then our afternoon Torah service, Mincha Moments at 3.30, and our family services at 4, and our, that's our children's services at 4, and our Ni'ila and Yisker services beginning at 5. Am I doing it right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Torah services at 5. Neela following that at whatever time that happens at 5.30. <laughs> Just cut, stay. Stay in the library. Enjoy. Good news, though. Both of the men who were taken to be given care are both much, much better well <laughs> on the way to be checked out at the hospital. Thank you for all of your prayers and all of your efforts. On page 357, we need your amens. This day, strengthen us. Amen. This day, bless us. Amen. This day, exalt us. Amen. This day, look with favor upon us. Amen. This day, inscribe us for a blessed life. Amen. This day, hear our plea. Amen. This day, uplift us with your righteousness. Gemara Khatimatova, may we all be written in the book of life. Amen. <laughs>